It's been pretty slow going today, won't lie. But I think that's changed. Have a look at this. Hey everyone, I'm here at the Waipa River today. On my way to the Cretaceous era where I found that plesiosaur paddle bone. Just going to see if there's anything new that's come down out of that cliff. You can see why they call it the sulfur sands, yeah. You can also definitely smell the sulfur. It smells like gunpowder up here. Well, there's the concretion that I had a look at last time I was here. And there were some bones sticking out. The weather's done its magic and I managed to find a piece with a really good section of bone, the cross section of a piece of bone there. That, that's some kind of Cretaceous marine reptile. It's a, probably a Mosasaur or a Plesiosaur. It's a, yeah, it's a decent sized bone there. So maybe three centimeters just over an inch, maybe inch and a half. Awesome. I don't think I've got a piece of bone this age. Just have a look at that. How beautiful is that piece of petrified wood? That is by far the prettiest piece I've ever found. Wow. I thought, I honestly thought that was just a piece of wood. moved all the way down the road, probably about 10-15 kilometers, I said about 10 miles. See if I find something down here. And I found a likely looking cliff. I'm gonna see if it's possible to get to it. A friendly little fantail. It looks different to the ones I normally see. This one's really dark. It's the right deposit. You can see here some shells in this one. Yeah, there's some more over here. Some bivalves, by the look of it. I'm back into the good stuff. I haven't found any evidence of shells which I normally use to figure out if I'm in the right layer and finally there you go there's some shells in there just looking at the stones and how round they are they must have been washed down a river or on a beach have a look at this I think this is a concretion Don't know what would be inside it over here. No idea. It's a decent sized one as well. Yeah, this is looking promising. I can see some undamaged oysters in here, which means it could be something good that survived. It's strange, so here's a layer of the oysters. Then you go a little bit higher, and those are small stones, very rounded stones. So I wonder if it was a, wonder if it was a beach deposit, and then a river came over the top of it, because there aren't any shells in that layer, the top layer. Lots of shells over here. Just picked up this rock and it's full of shells. And this thing on the side here, it's either a stone or I think it's a sea urchin. No, I think that's just a rock. 
like a limestoney rock. It had some cool texture on it. But I think it's just been weathered. Those rocks at the bottom there look quite interesting. Let's go take a closer look. Have a look at the size of these oysters. And they are just packed in here. You see this one on top of the other all the way through. And these are big oysters. There should be something in between them. You'd expect fish and all sorts to be around these oysters. I think it's just a matter of time until I find something. It's been pretty slow going today, won't lie. But I think that's changed. Have a look at this. At first I saw the barnacles and I mean I'm 15, 20 kilometers away from the the beach, the ocean. But then I had a closer look. And it's actually bone. Get rid of that spider. Have a look at that. Barnacles <laughs> on top of bone. Just lying in the middle of the grass. I mean there's there's rocks up top there. But no rocks nearby. <laughs> That is so cool. That's made the day. I'm up into the hills now. And look at that cool overhang there. I wonder if there's any rock art in there. I also know Moa used to like hiding out in those little overhangs. Not into caves really, but more the overhangs. It's worth checking out. This looks really cool. Let's keep an eye on the time. The sun's setting a lot earlier than it used to. Ooh. Weird little cave. I see a cool shell here, yeah, I'm still in this overhang. And I don't think I've got one of these shells in my collection. Have a look there. That looks to be in pretty good condition. It's a little bit broken on this side over here. But it's a new species for me, I'll take it. I think I see a eel down there. Not sure if it's alive. Yeah, it's alive. <laughs> Not looking too healthy. Very cool deposit here of little fossil shells. Now that's a good place to find shark's teeth in. Surely there's one in there. It's only maybe five meters wide that I can see. Okay, that's strange. Bunch of rocks that came down from the top there. And the sun's about to set. Maybe it's time to start going back to the car. <laughs> I still have about three or four kilometers to go. Let's have a look up top here, see if I could have made those rocks fall. There's nothing up here. 
why do I feel like this is the start of a horror movie? <laughs> I was just having a look at this rock here and as I dropped it it broke open and there's a little gastropod shell in there right at the top there a cool little one I'm on my way back to the car and I think I just found the second whale bone have a look at that Yeah, that's a vertebra or something. It's very fragile. You can see it's all cracked and everything. It's very near the road, so it might well have been hit by a car. Some little fragments down there. I'm going to try and collect them all, see if I can glue it back together at home. <laughs> Turning into a really good hunt. I noticed this big rock lying here. It's full of shells. I wonder what that is. Can that be a sea urchin? There we go. I don't think it's a sea urchin, I think it's a oyster shell. Okay, I won't lie, this was a bit freaky. <laughs> I was just looking at these rocks to see if there's any shark teeth in it. And it's a lot darker than it looks on camera. And I saw this, I'm like, oh, they're cheap. Then I saw a zipper. And some kind of doll. Oh, do we want to turn this over? <laughs> oh, I can't actually, it's... It's actually become. Well, there we go. What was that? A lot of strange noises in the bush over there. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty creepy. Okay, I think it's really time to go home now. <laughs> I'm not too far from the car now. The sound's completely set. And made it back to the car. I wasn't scared at all. Not even a tiny bit. <laughs> hey everyone, made it back home safely. <laughs> uh, it was an awesome hunt, even though it turned a bit creepy there at the end. Not sure what was happening in the bush there when I picked up that doll. Couldn't figure it out on, even after listening to the audio, but yeah, made it back safely. I wasn't caught by the New Zealand version of Bigfoot. <laughs> um, awesome hunt from this plesiosaur bone, whale vertebra, piece of whale bone with barnacles on and some random shells. That was a really awesome hunt. 70 million years old and probably about 10 million years old and spanning everything in between probably in that river. That's the great thing about those North Canterbury rivers, you never know what you're going to find. Let's have a closer look at these ones. First find of the day was this really nice piece of marine reptile bone. It's beautifully preserved, it's turned into some kind of crystal. You can see through there, there's some little crystals in there. This is part of the concretion that I found the previous time and either someone had broken open a piece of it and left this or it's just the cooling and heating factor of the, the weather that's broken it open. That's a really cool find, I'm happy with that. And this awesome piece of whalebone with the barnacles on top. So happy with that. It was just lying on top of the grass, so I still can't figure out. It must have rolled down the hill or something. That whalebone's turned so beautiful. And these barnacles on top, they tell a story. I'm thinking barnacles don't grow unless something has been sitting quite still for a while. So I'm thinking this piece of bone, either the whole whale was sitting there on the sand or between the rocks getting some growth on it, or this piece of bone had broken off and got trapped between some rocks. But yeah, it makes you think. Here's an oyster I brought back. 
I like this one because it's also got barnacles growing on it. It's such a thick oyster, you can see the layers going on there. Really like this little shell. It's a bit broken on that side. I definitely don't have one of these in my collection. If anyone knows what kind of shell that is, please let me know. And this cool bivalve. So nicely preserved. This big vert is so cool. <laughs> you can see where it's broken. So this is the top part of it. The rest of the vert would have come up here in that, I think, characteristic triangular shape. So it would have had one coming up the top here, one to the side and one to the other side. You can normally see here are the bits and pieces I'm going to have to glue back once I figure out where they go. It's like a big 3D puzzle. Thanks everyone for joining me on this hunt. That was really good fun. And thank you everyone that's been sending me photos of their finds for the slideshow that I'm going to put at the end of the video. I really appreciate that. Anyone else, if you've found anything in the last week or two and would like it featured over here, just email it through to me. Uh, just put in the subject line, slideshow. See you all on the next hunt. Now to try and figure out where all these little bits of bone go. <laughs> That was easy. <laughs>